Ever want to buy a ranch that allows you access to the top secret Area 51 military base? Well, you better dig out your checkbook. Yeah, the Medlin Ranch, the only cattle ranch that is directly adjacent to the world's best known military base, is on the market. That ranch is also home to one of the most enduring stories about Area 51, the legend of the black mailbox. Yeah, the I-team's George Knapp has our report. Nevada's Tickaboo Valley is beautiful but sparse, not the place you might think to raise and graze happy cows. When a tough cowboy named Steve Medlin first moved into the valley in the early 70s, there were no buildings, no wells, no utilities. Medlin and his wife carved out a 30 by 30 mile ranching operation. They and the rest of the world knew almost nothing about the top secret work underway just over the ridge at a place dubbed Area 51. In the mid 80s though, they got a crash course that's when the Air Force seized 89,000 acres of public land with no explanation. Some of that land had been used by Medlin to graze his cattle. The military unofficially assured him he could stay. They say that it's never going to make no difference, and I'd like to see something in writing that, for that saying that. Medlin worked out a deal. He was allowed to enter the forbidden base to tend his cattle so long as he alerted them ahead of time via radio. Things became more complicated in 1989 when an anonymous man appeared on KLAS TV and said he'd worked at the secret base on alien technology. Actually nine uh, flying saucers, flying discs. Suddenly, the UFO faithful began arriving by the busload in the Tickaboo Valley. Among the visitors, the anonymous scientist, months before his name was made public, Bob Lazar, who showed up at the Rachel Bar and Grill in the company of a reporter not yet known for UFO stories and a wealthy businessman named Robert Bigelow. The bar later changed its name to the Little Ailey Inn. UFO visitors came to believe that a black mailbox installed on the highway for Steve Medlin was the spot where Bob Lazar had recorded his UFO videos. It wasn't. And they suspect that the mailbox was where messages were left for both the space aliens and the government. People thought, oh my God, this got to be the mailbox of Area 51. So they started opening it up, uh, going through the rancher's mail, and of course, uh, the story was, well, it really is not a rancher's mail, it's the mail to Area 51. People opened up the mail. Um, story is that uh, the rancher even found some of his pieces of mail with, with bullet holes in them. In 1996, the black mailbox was replaced with a welded bulletproof white box. It too became an attraction, a place to scan the skies, leave graffiti, take selfies, and a place for reporters to record obligatory standups. Here next to the infamous mysterious black mailbox, which of course, as you can see, is not black at all. A few years ago, the rancher moved his actual mailbox somewhere else, and now he's ready to move on altogether. Since late 2020, the Medlin Ranch has been listed for sale with an asking price of $4.5 million. That includes two homes, 70 irrigation spots for cattle, and 80 acres. Medlin and his wife are ready to let someone else navigate the thin line between the UFO faithful and the so-called camo dudes dedicated to keeping them all out. Rachel resident York Arnu is pretty sure the legend of the black mailbox will live on. I really spent a lot of time myself camping in that location because it's the best place to meet people interested in the various aspects of Area 51. And you meet everybody from the military aviation people, the secret uh, black project people, uh, UFO people, and what better place to meet everybody to form my own picture of Area 51. George Knapp, 8 News Now. The real estate agent handling the sale told us in December that a pending deal had entered escrow as of December. As of Monday, it was still in escrow but had not closed. More information about the ranch and its history is over on our website.